Hello, my friends. My name is JD, and I'm a statistician and music therapist here to offer statistically significant support. And today, I want to talk about how to feel more connections with people. Now, I cannot stress enough how important it is to feel a connection. One, because if you're feeling suicidal, it'll decrease your suicidal ideations and attempts. But two, if you're not, it'll help you improve your well-being. Even connecting with nature will improve your well-being, but it will also help you improve your vitality, happiness, and life satisfaction. So feeling sad will actually help you desire more connections in your life especially if you've lost someone, but I don't want you to use sadness to help you build connections. So here are four tips to help you build healthy, strong connections in your life. And the first is simply just to meditate, particularly the loving kindness meditation. This will help you improve your meditations for both people and nature. It's, it's really that powerful. And you can do this for just 15 minutes. So you want to feel like you're some benevolent being granting people the phrases that you're going to repeat. And you do that for yourself and for others. So you want to start with yourself and and give yourself happiness. So you say, may I be happy. May I be safe and secure. May I be healthy and strong. May I be fulfilled. Then you do this for five other people in your life. So a close friendship, someone you respect and love, just an acquaintance, somebody you might not know very well, a difficult person in your life, someone you don't really get along with, and then all living things. So you want to grant these people in your life those phrases. So may you be happy. May you be safe and secure. May you be healthy and strong. May you be fulfilled. Just 15 to 20 minutes for once a week for six weeks will help you feel more connected. But I really recommend doing this every day. I've done this every day for months. And not only did it improve my life, but it improved the lives of the people I was focusing on as well. Now, I use slightly different prompts, but the, the, the concept is still there. Um, and I really felt more connected with the people because I saw our lives improve at the same time. Now, the second thing to do is simply just to be more active. And by that, I mean have active hobbies like singing, playing an instrument, playing games, going to sports, Now it's true that doing more things will get you around more people and being around more people will get you to do more things. But feeling a connection really depends on the things that you're doing. So doing active things, particularly things that take action and require uh, cooperation towards some kind of a common goal that will increase your social gatherings. You'll, do, you'll be around people more and you'll have closer relationships. Doing passive things like watching TV or, um, or listening to music, that won't increase your close relationships, your close friendships. You won't feel connected to people doing those things. I've actually done this. When I was in undergrad, I tried to connect with people by watching a TV show. In this case, it was House. And I really wanted to watch the show, but my friends, they wanted to talk. And so I I didn't really build a connection with them that way. But I I eventually found a group of friends who were doing D&D. So suddenly, I was going regularly and seeing the same group of friends and we were being active and achieving some kind of a common goal. And that really helped me to feel more close to them, to feel closer to them. It helped me to feel like I had a close-knit group of friends. And 
I really felt grateful for that, which leads me into the, the third way to feel connected to people, which is gratitude. Feel gratitude. I'm going to do a separate video on this because it's such a big topic and it's so important that I can't fit it into to this video here. Um, but feeling grateful will, feel, will help you feel more connected to people. And it could just be as simple as making a list daily of the things that you're grateful for. And those things could be big or they could be small. It really doesn't matter as long as you're feeling grateful. I personally like to spread this out throughout my entire day and feel grateful for anything I can imagine. If things are going just awful, I will find the one thing that I can be grateful for. <laughs> it might I might even just have to be grateful for the piece of chicken that I'm about to eat. So the fourth thing to do is to go to counseling. Everyone needs counseling. I've gone to counseling before. Um, it's something that everyone needs from time to time. And for feeling a connection, it might only just take a few sections. sessions. This is something that you can do uh, in the short term but it really will help you improve your connections with people. So when I was in counseling, I talked about what was going on in my life and the professional helped me to get context, to understand the situations that were happening and to understand the people who were doing them so that I understood them better and I felt a better connection with them. So to recap, Feeling a connection with people will help you feel happier in your life, will help you f increase your well-being. And you can do that through meditating, through being active, through th feeling grateful, and through go to going to counseling. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe that will give you access to knowing when I'm putting out more videos so that you can get more statistically significant support. Thanks guys.